welcome back guys i am here hunting um i'm at our hunting farm uh it's about an hour away from our shop give you a little peek outside i'm up on top of a mountain it's got some pretty amazing views So the reason I'm talking a little bit quiet too is there's actually some deer out here. Let me uh, see if I can get them here for you. So they're out there about 100 yards, maybe 125 yards. They've been out there for probably 20, 30 minutes. Um, I, I'm not really hunting for any doe. We got already a couple doe off this farm and uh, I'm looking more for something with horns and something with big horns. So I'm looking for some antlers. I don't know. Um, I'm just, I got a couple good spots um, where they often potentially pop out down in that brush down there. But gives you a little idea. I'll show you. Uh, got a heater. Just kind of chilling out here on my swivel stool. Um, this is, this is about what? This is about 1215. Um, I come down here. Uh, come down here early this morning uh, with my son Tyler he already got his buck but he's kind of sitting out for bear he's uh he's sitting in an open stand I sometimes I sit in an open stand sometimes I sit in this blind but I really like this blind for midday and uh, afternoon and evening um, and I'm also sitting out here I've been sitting out here since about uh, 10 no about 11 o'clock 11 15 I got out here so there's a there's a lot of deer on this farm we usually see a bunch you know from this stand and i got you know a 360 shooting range here so i'm um, going down out through there got about uh 300 400 yards down there and then same way over there to the left about 400 yards over here to the side uh, about 150 over there and then down in there, there's probably 250 yards I can go down in there. So I can see a lot of areas. If they pop out, I can I can hopefully hit them. Um, I'll show you uh, I'll show you the gun I'm using. So I'm, I got a. This is a fairly new gun. Um, this is a 300 PRC. Christensen Arms. Uh, I got this uh, with a Viper scope. It is uh, five by twenty-five by fifty, so it's a tactical scope. I can adjust pretty quickly on the fly. Um, I I didn't get to do a lot of shooting this year, but I'm hoping that this next summer I can dial it in a little bit better. So hopefully I can shoot comfortably four or five, 600 yards because this gun is definitely made for it. Again, it's a 300 PRC. It's a precision round cartridge. So it is, uh, it's got a lot of knockdown power. So last year, last year I was hunting. Oh, these deer are they getting spooked. Might be talking too loud, but last year I was hunting and um, had a big 10 point buck or nine point at the time. It was... It was last year, it was out, it was out in there about, actually it's about 400 yards up there. And I have a 30 out six and I tried to get that thing with my 30 out six and missed it, shot low. And um, anyway, came back around and this year, I uh, uh, my son got it with his gun. Um, he is sitting down in the woods and he, he shot that one. So it's kind of cool to see him grow from year to year. Um, the other thing is, I love hunting when you can actually see deer 
um, like these deer. I mean, just they're still they're still just hanging out there. So, like I said, it's awesome to hunt and to be able to watch deer graze uh, in bow season. It's a world of difference even, like there's even a lot more deer. Um, when it's cold, like it depends, like last year, there used to be, I mean, we'd sit up here and a matter of 30 minutes, you'd have deer, you know, all around you. And uh, this year, the weather has been pretty mild. So we haven't been seeing as many, they're, they're not pressured to feed. But it's, uh, it's a blast. Where I hunt up at the shop as well, it's a lot harder hunting. Um, the deer just are pressured a lot more. So come hunting season, especially gun, they just lock down. They don't do much and they don't, they're like nocturnal. They only go at night. They only feed at night. So it's hard to see them in the day. And one of the reasons too with this ground is being able to let our boys, you know, let the boys hunt and uh, let them get a shot at a standing deer. Like these deer right here, you know, 100 yards with this 300, it'd be, <laughs> it'd be a nice, easy shot. Um, just a matter of waiting for them to get nice and broadside for you. Yeah, I, uh, I'm just kind of hanging out here. So this is what, uh, this is kind of what I like to do in my spare time. We have a lot of fun here. Also get to take in the beautiful views. Guys, there's actually um, seven deer over there. There's five kind of in a group there and then over a little bit more, there is another two. Um, all doe, from what I can tell. Been watching them here a little bit, but we're waiting. This is about uh, 1.45. deer are super close probably 75 yards so you have to shut up here a little bit doesn't get any better than this i got uh five deer just over here to the side of me and then um a little bit further over there's two more deer and then down below about thought that there would be a few more deer over on this side all these deer are popping out over here um, but I think eventually there'll be more over here the wind is kind of blowing a west wind usually they like to come in they feed into the wind um, and there's a big bedding area down below so I'm hoping that uh, either some bucks come out of there I know before some bucks showed up out of there also over here, you know, at any moment a buck could pop out, um, but we'll see. Well guys, quick little update before it gets dark. Um, I was watching a ton of deer, so there was like seven out in here. There was another um, five down in there. There was three over in there. Right now there's five over in there, and there's another down in there there's one or two I can't quite tell they're just not stepping out but something is spooking these deer because there was a bunch feeding out here and I don't know they got chased off they kept looking down that way I don't know we do have bears around here um, 
I don't know, maybe there was a bear, could have been some coyote, something. But no bucks. Like 15 doe, but no bucks. So I got about another 45 minutes yet of hunting. So there's still uh there's there's still some deer out there. It started snowing here, but the deer that are out there are like way up in the corner. You can see them right there. And then there's some down way over in there. You can see it walking along the edge. I think there's two of them down there. Welcome back to Flint Creek Transport. Last time I started the video out showing you a Peterbilt glider, I saved the best for last, right? Beautiful. I didn't know he was loaded. It's always kind of cool to get him, uh, get a video of them going up the road because it's a slight, it's a slight grade up, and it's uh, definitely sounds a lot better taking off when they're loaded. I should have went up there. I didn't even realize he was loaded. Truck 104. Couple of the trucks back in the yard. I want to show you guys a quick shot of 143. Oh, we got a low flying helicopter. Check it out. So this truck is running, it is pretty much ready to go. The only thing that we are held up on is over here. The door. So it's at the paint shop, hopefully getting it back today or tomorrow, one of the days. But looking pretty good. Quick look here in the shop. They're uh, wrapping up some services getting it done for the day working uh winter projects right starting to get those in but first off we have our christmas breakfast coming right up and this shop's gonna get all cleaned out probably in the next video i'll show you that get this place cleaned up again and get it ready for our christmas party so we have our christmas party here and we have a lot of fun so all right, guys, that's it for this video. We'll see you in the next one. Peace out.